All right, until about two seconds ago, I was gonna open up this video with a joke about, oh, I wish I had a crystal ball. That way I would have known that Red Dawn wasn't worth watching over Rise of the Guardians. But I should have known that. If I didn't actually know that, I deserve to be kicked in the taint. So there that is. That being said, let's not cry over spilled milk. Let's now review a movie that's been out for about four days now. Better late than never. Rise of the Guardians. So Rise of the Guardians is pretty much like the Avengers for kids. Then again, I think every kid on Earth has seen the Avengers, so it's just the Avengers with the mythological characters that bedtime stories for kids are made from. That's more accurate. Namely Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, the Sandman, and now Jack Frost. Because the Boogeyman's like rising in power and he's like, ah, I'm gonna strike fear in the hearts of everyone. How is he rising to power? Because everyone's now afraid. Why? Because he's turning their dreams into nightmares. How? Because they saw the movie Sinister about him and that's how he he's rising to power. Not really in the movie, but I'm just saying if it were to happen in real life, that is how. So now the moon, which makes all the decisions as to which mythological fairy tale creature is going to become a guardian, makes a new guardian. That guardian is Jack Frost. Now I really like Jack Frost. Anytime there's a character who's like, uh, yeah, I'm really not the responsibility kind of person. I'm fun. I make snow days. I make snowball fights. I will shirk being a guardian for remaining fun. Why? Because being a guardian is all about deadlines and no. Fun is more awesome. So I immediately related to Jack Frost. And really the movie revolves around Jack Frost. You have the other supporting characters. You know, Santa Claus is this big Russian. Jack Frost and the Easter Bunny don't like each other that much. It just, it just made for a really good mix. But the movie has a surprising amount of heart when it came to Jack Frost. There are a couple times you're like, whoa, okay. It's not just throwing fairy tale creatures on the screen for the sake of doing it because they're like, well, that's just kind of what the movie's about. So it'll be fun enough seeing the fairy tale creatures. So he's easy to relate to and he has depth to his character. That's just a good main character character to have. The 3D is really impressive too when Jack Frost is flying around, it's going in between stuff, you're like, okay, this is a 3D movie that shows how 3D movies can still be cool. There was a part in Rise of the Guardians that made me chuckle. I was like, uh, that was funny. Then I realized, I was like, wait a minute, I haven't really laughed in this movie, which surprised me. Usually a CGI kids movie that has a premise like this, you would expect it to be a comedy. I can only say, I guess it's not a comedy, it's an adventure movie. It doesn't try to be funny because it's not there to be funny. And I felt like the end happened really quickly. It's like, you know, the boogeyman has his plan and in in the end is like, oh, plan, wrap up. And it felt really quick. It was like, all right, this movie had a surprising amount of depth to it, a surprising amount of layers. Then the end just kind of happened and then it was done. Fair enough, dude. So in the end, the 3D was great. The cinematography was great. All the action scenes were really exciting. The characters were cool. I love how they interact. Jack Frost was awesome. He was really relatable. And it had a surprising amount of depth and layers to his character that made the movie just all the more relevant. Should I have watched this instead of Red Dawn entirely? Mm -hmm. In the end, I will say I would buy Rise of the Guardians on Blu-ray. It's one of those movies you watch it as an adult and it still brings out your inner child. You're like, oh man, a time when life was just more simple. All right, so what's your favorite childhood movie? What I mean by that is what's the movie that you watch a lot as a kid? You're like, oh, I'm a kid. I have a babysitter. The babysitter knew to put that movie in to keep you planted there so they wouldn't have to do anything for like two hours. Me, I, I'm pretty sure it was Wrath of Khan. That's just how that went down and that was, that was one of my movies. So whatever it is, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here, and you want to see more, click right here to see more.